From riding a bike to reaching for a cup of coffee, all skilled actions rely on precise connections between the sensory and motor areas of the brain. Precisely adjusting the connections between these and other areas enables us to learn new skills and it also helps us to relearn skills lost as a result of brain injury or stroke. Hebbian remodeling of neural circuits, encapsulated by the sentence, neurons that fire together, wire together, is one mechanism for learning in the brain. However, despite the extensive work studying Hebbian plasticity at the cellular level, it remains unclear how synaptic plasticity leads to large-scale functional reorganization. In this work, we studied stimulation-induced changes in network dynamics in two macaques using a technique called optogenetics in which viruses are used to introduce genes for light-sensitive proteins into neurons. Shining light onto the brain will then activate a local group of cells that contain these proteins. This technique enabled simultaneous stimulation of excitatory neurons in electrocorticographic recording across primary somatosensory S1, and motor M1 cortex. Within minutes, stimulation in S1 or M1 significantly strengthened the average connectivity between these areas. But at the scale of individual electrode recordings, the effects were more variable, with some connections becoming weaker rather than stronger. We found that these changes reflected the correlations introduced by stimulation-evoked activity consistent with Hebbian plasticity models. Taken together, our results extend Hebbian plasticity models to large-scale circuits with significant implications for stimulation-based neurorehabilitation. Indeed, many neurological and psychiatric disorders stem from abnormal brain connectivity. Simple forms of brain stimulation are already used to treat certain neurological disorders such as Parkinson's disease. Stimulating the brain to induce specific changes in connectivity may ultimately enable us to leverage the brain's natural learning mechanisms to cure instead of just treat these conditions.